Modesto, new at 11, the fear over the three murders now has the FBI involved. And tonight, investigators are trying to find out if one person is responsible, who would commit a series of attacks like these and why? Roz Plater spoke with a retired FBI agent. She is live in Alexandria to continue our live team coverage with what goes on in the mind of a killer. Roz? Well, Allison, that retired FBI agent says, in fact, that he thinks something set this guy off 10 years ago. It may or may not make sense to the rest of us, but it does to this guy. It brought him to this neighborhood where he killed Nancy Dunning, and then 10 years later, that anger was refueled, and he is bent on revenge again. Now that police say the killings of all three victims, Nancy Dunning, Ron Kirby, and Ruth Ann Lodato, may be linked, there are questions about the suspects seen in this sketch from the latest murder. Who is he and what could possibly motivate him? It certainly appears that Alexandria is his beef. We put those questions to former FBI profiler Brad Garrett. I think this guy, in his mind, believe he's been wronged in some way by the city of Alexandria. All three victims were prominent and active in their community, Dunning, the wife of the sheriff and a realtor, Kirby, a well-known regional transportation planner, and Lodato, a music teacher. Garrett says we may find they were tied through civic organizations. He targeted, I believe, these three people not because of who they are personally, but what they represent. Garrett says a suspect may or may not live in Alexandria, and he could be tough to track down. The disadvantage to people like this is they're not talking to anybody. He's now he's not in the bar blabbing about what he did. You know, he's probably a guy that stays within himself, walks around, may even work in the city of Alexandria, and he goes on these rampages, then he goes back into his normal life. Betty Thompson, who knew Nancy Dunning, says her neighbors have vowed to do what they can to help find him. It's been kind of on edge right now with everything going on, but I can tell you a lot of residents have their eyes and ears open. And that's what police are asking for folks to take a good look at the suspect sketch and to look around for somebody who looks like that or somebody who could have looked like that about 10 years ago. Meantime, police are looking into the backgrounds of what groups and organizations the victims may have belonged to. We're live in Alexandria. I'm Roz Plater, ABC 7 News. Roz, thank you. And stay with ABC 7 News for complete coverage of the Alexandria murders. We will update the search for the person or people responsible on our newscast, WJLA.com and social media as well. We